Uh, salvation is a gift of God, not of works, Amen. lest any man boast. Amen. Okay, we're not legalists. Amen. Okay, God bless you. Well, didn't you just say, though, you got to keep the Sabbath? You're going to follow Christ correctly? Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen, really he did. That's okay. right. That's right. Okay, God bless you. And now, if you hey, don't, look, what I gotta happens? Go. If I gotta you don't go. keep them, what happens? Right. If you don't keep them? Yeah, if you don't keep the commandments, what happens? Then you're transgressing the law. And that leads to what? Eternal damnation. Yeah, now have you kept the commandments? What do you mean have I kept have the Have you kept the commandments? I keep the commandments by the power of the Holy Spirit, yes. So you keep them all? By the power of the so Holy Spirit. So you perfectly Spirit. do what you need to do on the Sabbath? Do you know... Do you perfectly... Do you know exactly what you're implying right now? Yeah. You're, you're implying works against you. That's we are what not you just saved. said. No. You said, hey, I keep, I said, I keep all the commandments, by works, but you keep them. That's because I love Jesus. So yes. why did Christ need to come if you can keep them by yourself? Why you're did not, he need to come and live not, a perfect life? Why did he need to fulfill the law if listening. you can do it? You're not listening. My man Ron here can fulfill no, the law. We not, don't need Jesus. You're not listening. I'm listening. Okay, because the first covenant was made by the people in Exodus 24. When Moses came down the mountain, they didn't want to talk to the Lord unless they died. So they said, okay, Moses, everything the Lord has said, we will do. He got the Ten Commandments, right? But they didn't do. Exactly. That's why Christ had to come. But they still wound up in the Promised Land. That's how why that? Christ had to come. You know how, why they wound up in the Promised Land? Yeah. Because God is not a no, liar. No, he's, and he well, made he's that promise grace. to That's right. Abraham. He's a God of grace. He made, did he make he that promise to Abraham? And, and he got to bring him in because they made they kept the go. commandments. Talk to these people. See, Ron over here yeah. says, hey, I can keep all the commandments. Well, Ron, I'm sorry, man. The Bible says that there's no one. No, it does. You're lying. Romans 3. You're lying. There's no one who does good no, and not the one. Word, yeah, that's true. The Word of God says that in Revelation 22, these are the ones that will enter who keep the commandments of God. Read Revelation 22. And how do you keep that? How? See, you, you say you're not being legalist, but then you're over here saying that the way that you enter into heaven is by keeping the commandments. That's what Christ said. If you okay. love me, keep okay. my commandments. Have you read 1 John yeah, 2? That's what I'm saying, though. Have you read 1 John 2? I've read 1 John 1 where it says, if you say that you're God. without sin, you're a liar. Of course. I'm okay. not so you're not without, without sin, of course. but you follow the law? How the can law, you explain that? I can explain it. Okay, explain how you're without sin or you're... God, will you calm down, kid? Because I don't have all day. I'm not the one no, upset. I don't, you know why I'm upset with you? Because I, you're I don't representing know. the devil. I got to go. Well, yeah, I'm just I, saying, like, I Ron's hate, over here on no, one side hate, saying, hey, I keep the I law. false prophets. Well, that's what I'm I saying, right? False that's prophets. like, who's the one that you're started false, the Seventh-day Adventist? What was your name? Ellen White. Ellen she White. Did. False, false prophetess, false, false prophetess, right? There's the, well, yeah, I know, man, I know. But anyway, so Ron over here, I just want to point out something, because this is really interesting. So Ron over here says, hey, I'm a sinner, but I've kept the law perfect. I've kept the law good enough to go to heaven. Now, what is that about? That's inconsistency, right? What do you think? <clears throat> Well, Jonathan, I'm just wondering, you know, the Bible says that the law was given to the Israelites to be a tutor to them, a schoolmaster, so that it points them to Christ. Yeah, the law is spiritual. The law is good. But the law also reveals to us our sinfulness, our inability to keep the commandments of God. And so should we strive to keep them? Of course we should. These are good things. The commandments are good. The commandments are, are there for us to try they're like guardrails. They're, they're, they're application. They're practical things for us to live by. We want to keep them. But like Paul says, I find in myself something that, that can't keep the law. And I realize that the more I strive to keep the law, the, the more I can't keep the law. The more I realize, wait a minute. Man, I'm a really sinful wretch. When I see in the commandment, it says, hey, don't commit adultery. Jonathan, do you lust after women? What do you think? You lust? You ever committed lust? Yeah? Have you ever committed idolatry? Let's go to that one. You know what I'm saying? I shall have no other God before me. But what do we do on Sundays? Man, we worship our idol. Tom Brady. We worship things. You know, Sunday comes around and we're like, man, I'd rather go golfing than worship Christ. What's up, Alex? So what is that? That's idolatry, right? I don't want to spend time with the Lord. I want to get on Twitter. I want to get on Facebook instead. That's idolatry. What? How did I miss it? And so I can't look. Hey, if 
if a guy comes out and says, look, I keep the whole law, all 10 of them. I keep all the commandments. When I'm a sinner, I sin. Well, you can't have it Read both this. ways. You can't have it Read both ways. All right. Read what do you got? Revelation 22. Yeah, 14. amen. Blessed are no, they. Read it. Read it. <laughs> read it. it. Hey, it knocked off. Look, no. it's not Revelation. This is read what it. they are hiding out. Okay. Right, right there. Tell you read what. this. Blessed are those who wash their robes. Is that Revelation 22, 14? Oh, yeah. So that they may have the right that, to the yeah. tree of life. Okay. That's what I'm reading. I love reading there God's word out read here. It right here. I was reading. Read that. Blessed are they that do his commandments, Thank that you. they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Okay, so what does it say? Blessed are they who keep his commandments. Uh -huh. So what does that and mean? And do you keep them? Uh, you, you have, have to follow Yeah, but you if, if, if my man, if you have sinned before, then you haven't kept them. How can you have kept them if you sinned before? What does that mean? You know what it means? Yeah. No, I do know what it means. What does it mean? It means that if you're following Christ, you live a certain way. 